What's up everyone? Welcome to the Durbin Compound. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Devin Durbin. Today we're going over a product from West Coast Saw. It is a, a video that has been requested by one of my subscribers, Kevin Barker. Thank you for bringing this up, brother. We're going to do a video on this West Coast Saw air filter uh, that goes on the 462. So let's, without further ado, let's get the saw on the table. I will show you guys exactly how easy it is to install this filter and just some of the benefits that you gain from a filter like one of these. All right guys, two things that you will need for this installation is a big bladed flathead screwdriver and a quarter inch deep walled eight millimeter socket for our carb nuts. So let's go ahead and I'll show you exactly how easy this is to get out of here. With our three quarter turn nuts, we'll take off our air filter cover here. Steel is kind of disappointing on their air filter design, just how bad these paper filters do. Uh, they get packed with sawdust. Even after a, a, a tank or two, this thing is just completely packed with dust. And when I'm getting sawdust inside the plastic here, where my fil air filter cover, uh, you know, where the air filter covers, I'm not really satisfied with the design of this. So that was a welcomed uh, modification when West Coast Saw allowed me to, uh, you know, come out with the uni filter and directly bolt it right onto my saw. So. The eight millimeter nuts are in here, and we are gonna go ahead and remove the eight millimeter nuts. There are two of them, and they all they do is attach this plastic piece onto the front here where your filter, your original filter, uh, snaps in. So once you get these out, you'll have the ability to pull this uh, adapter piece straight off of the saw here. So dump your nuts out into your hand and we can reinstall them onto the flange piece here. So I'll go ahead and run these down and we'll tighten them up here. And that's literally the hardest part about the installation. So the air filter from West Coast Saw is a oiled filter, so do not uh, install this without oiling the filter first. For instructional purposes, I'm going to put this on dry, so why I'm handling this. Um, the reason why I would spray this before putting it on is because you're going to spray your pre-filter uh, oil and it's going to get all over your saw. So go ahead and spray this on the bench or on a, uh, a towel and then put it on here. So it just slips around the same flange that your air filter was on before and then just tighten it down with the screwdriver. So the band clamp is like any other band clamp, any other worm band clamp. Uni filters make some awesome products and boom, you slip your cover back on. So I'm gonna go ahead and uninstall and oil it and then put it back on. I just wanted to do that for instructional purposes. We're gonna, I'm gonna oil this filter up and then we're gonna take it outside. I'm gonna show you just exactly how much dust it collects. Now, after I have oiled this, uh, I use some uh, Bell Ray's uh, air filter, uh, pre-filter, whatever you wanna call it, lubricant or oil. Um, it makes a mess, so that's legitimately why I did this first. Uh, now let's get down to the price here. Uh, West Coast Saw is selling this for $45. Um, not a bad price for what you get. See, my hands are slipping all over the place now. Um, I just have oil everywhere. So let's go ahead and slap this cover on. Let's go out and run the, run the saw a little bit as I'm dropping everything covered in oil now. Um, it'll just take a little bit of uh, finesse here to get this filter pushed down up underneath the cover here but it does not affect the uh, performance of it from squashing it down.
All right, guys, so I just cut a tank and I filled up, let's see here, a tank and a half. So I've got a tank and a half of fuel that I ran through uh, this filter so far here on camera. If you've got any negative comments to say about my cutting style, well, that's on you. I'll just remove your comment because I don't care to hear it. Uh, if you cut about one tank, every, every one tank, I would have to knock the sawdust out of this paper filter. So let's go, let's bring the camera around and show you exactly what the filter looks like after uh, just one and a half tanks of fuel. All right, guys, this is what it looks like after about a couple tanks of gas here. Um, you just have some uh, light dust in the filter. Um, these, of course, are awesome because you can rinse these right out. Uh, just take them inside, rinse them out with water uh, and some mild soap, and then just oil them back again. I like the foam filters. Um, you can see the oil has started to pool at the bottom here. And... Um, you know, it, it's easy to just wash these bad boys out and uh, get back to work. Unlike the paper filters where um, you're kind of out of luck after they get dirty. So, all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you're interested in the filter, by all means, go out and get you one over at westcoastsaw.com. 45 bucks is not a bad option uh, at, you know, just a, a bolt-on, modification to your saw it can't be beat um, you could probably order the filter from uni itself um, i think they're making their own uh their own little uh, 3d printed uh, holder for the bottom of the filter i'm not exactly sure but i sure do like a nice turnkey product from a good company with good people so gordy keep doing what you're doing out there brother i will continue to buy your products you keep making them for my saws um, i like nice stuff and i like to support uh, guys that have the same passions as me so i hope you guys enjoyed the video give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down whatever you guys are into if you're subscribed to the channel well I guess we'll see you in the next video.